Big day today. I'm gonna drive my race car. Me and a couple buddies rented the racetrack I-44 Speedway today. We're gonna load the car up. We're gonna meet them out there. We've got the track for two hours. Here we go, day one, 2024 season. Stick around!
last air and I'm like, that felt really squishy. And he's like, no, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what to consider so, it to do. So, it, it didn't get hot, it was running yeah, right at 200. It good. I kind of wiggled a little bit in one and two over there. At one point it kind of... So did you ever have to fight the wheel like that time? That time, I had to steer back into it. Was it and scary? it's just a matter, <laughs> no. No? I wasn't scared, but like, it's like you got to, I don't know, it's, I don't know. Like I feel like I'm so, driving in and then I let off, but I can get right back on it almost. I feel like I can drive it in harder than I am. So here's what I think. I, yes, I think you just need to smooth out. I think you did great. For your first time, you were not scared. You were like, you were trying, you were going. Well, I'm out there to drive. Yeah, yeah. What, should I come out of four higher? Should I be close to that wall I when I'm coming I, out? I want to go watch him. Do you want to suit up yeah. and you go next? Yeah, sure. Just throw that over there and yeah. suit up and you can go. All right, buddy. All right. Have fun. All right. Just let me know what you think of the car. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, what's up? Hey,
All right, we are back at the house now. The car did great, no major mechanical failures, uh, ran good. We basically smoked the right front tire. Uh, car's gonna go up on jack stands. We're gonna rotate the tires, reset the air pressures. We've got a good plan for air pressure now. Um, power steering reservoir overflowed and was spewing out, so I'm gonna remove some fluid from that. We're gonna try to make a camber adjustment on the right front. Recheck all the fluids. I gotta get some new lug nuts. I'm gonna go to the bigger lug nuts on my wheels from Speedway. All in all, not bad. I was very nervous my first few laps out. And then by the last ones, I was, I, I feel like I picked it up every time I went out, I got quicker. I drove in a little further. I got on the gas a little quicker. Um, I'm getting a lot more comfortable, but it's hard to tell when you're the only car out there. So uh, this coming Saturday is our practice day at I-44. Me and Dusty should have that car there for practice and we'll get to run with some other cars. So that'll be a real good test of where we stack up to the competition. Welcome back. All right, so it is Monday night. Got the car back in here. We've taken the tires off and we've noticed a few things. So this tire was my right front. I wanna point out a couple of things here. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, don't mind. Oliver, Anthony, Oliver, Anthony, whatever his name is. So look at a couple things here. So this was our right front tire. This tire ran about 50 laps between me and Dusty. Look at this. Look at that tread. If you feel across this thing, it's Ridge Valley, Ridge Valley, Ridge Valley, Ridge Valley. Everything is to the outside of the tire. Also, look, remember how we drew the words on? It ate half the words off down the sidewall. Uh, there were three Crown Vicks there, and all three of us were having the same problem on three different types of tire. So I talked to my buddy Blake up at O'Reilly's, and he recommended a Ford Motorcraft filter for it. And I'm gonna run Valvoline, V-Jibri. I'm gonna run Valvoline 10W30 high mileage, synthetic blend high mileage. Oil in it, and about the time I'm done with that, Dusty should be getting here. And we're going to try to adjust the camber on both sides of the car. So if anybody on here's got any ideas, remember the, fr the right front I showed you how it was all leaned to one side? That's after about 45 laps at I-44 Speedway. 3 8 high banked asphalt track. I, I don't know, what, I mean, what, what are you doing out there? I've heard about guys grinding them like a dirt tire. I'm not sure what that would do. I've heard about guys running an oversized tire on the right front. I've heard about guys running a harder compound of tire on the right front, which that, in my mind, would make sense. It would last longer, but I think I would lose a lot of my handling going from the 400 count stickier tire to the, I don't know. What do y'all think? Help me out here. Get them comments. Beat it to death. Let's go. Let's figure it out. Uh, this week, we'll, we, will, we will start filming our first episode um, for the race and TV show that we're making. Yeah, if you haven't heard yet. I've talked about it in one episode, and I said, I really wish I could tell you something that was brew, and this was several episodes ago. This is it. I'm going to be a driver featured on a TV show at Lebanon I-44 Speedway this year. There's a company in our town called Slate and Glass. They make awesome videos. Uh, they do commercials, they do music videos, things like that. They've teamed up with I-44 that's teamed up with some of us. There's like four or five drivers going to be followed in the Crown Vic series. And they're going to film us at the track. They're going to come here in my shop and film. They're going to follow us when we're at I-44 racing. And they're going to try to make a TV show out of it and sell it to some, like, I don't know, like Fox Sports or Netflix or something like that. So uh, you're going to start seeing camera crews around me more. Normally it's just me or Dusty or like Cass, but there's gonna be like camera crews like with really nice stuff filming a TV show. So that's gonna explain why the cameras are following me around in future videos at I-44. Anybody else put a little oil on your oil filter seal? What are you doing there, Dust? Oh, I'm just working on my Crown Vic. <laughs> How's that going? <laughs> oh, pretty crappy, actually. Half the bolts are rusted up. I don't know. So we're trying to get a little camber in her. Yeah. 
Within the factory specs. Within the factory specs, according to yeah. I-44 rules. I thought cool. I, dude, it ran awesome. It did. It did. Are you opposed to hammering on your bench or? Hey, whatever you gotta do. Okay. 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 Whatever, there's the toolbox, it's okay. behind you. Okay, because it is not moving and I can't get the closed in on it, so. Okay. All right, I'm loose down here. I actually watched the camber bolt spin. Oh, cool. So by moving that, you're changing the in and out of the lower air. And the lower air. <clears throat> and... But you're saying there's a point where you go too far. It's an egg-shaped. It's an egg-shaped deal. Okay. But it has a point. So, so on this want, side, we want to find the farthest out. Look, it starts coming back out. We want it all in. Well, let's, let's, let's see. It's going in. Watch. And then it no, that's out. Back out. Yep. Out. I think if, if you just keep rotating it, watch, it'll come back around. Out. In. 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 It's done. So tighten it now. So we've changed it that much. Yeah, yeah. You can see it ain't where it was. Oh, you're gonna have to hold it. So basically, what we did. The way we understand the rules to be dictated to us, and apparently everybody else involved, because this is getting talked about, we have loosened up that bolt right there on both sides. And on this side, we took it as far in, correct? Yeah. The, we took it as far in as possible. On the other side, we took it as far out as possible to give us a left turn camber. So, we're gonna put the tires on it, set it on the ground, see what it looks like, and then adjust the toe. That's pretty much all we can do until they decide to either let us run camber bolts or we decide to cheat, so. <laughs> we'll update you on the next we'll, episode. We'll, we'll let you know as we get there. When we decide to start cheating, we'll let you all know, so. The pressures are already set for their new position. Good. Okay, are you good there? Yep. This thing's towed in like a quarter of an inch. But we want it towed out, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Feel pretty good right there because. I'm good with that. I mean, it's ain't an indie car. It's a, no. It's a front of crown bit. What? But. Good. So we've got the camber done. We got the toe done. I learned. I learned about the front end. Dusty's got a belly full of wings. And the car's ready-ish for practice. So, you got anything you want to add? Uh, like and subscribe to Outlaw Racing if you haven't, please. We appreciate the comments and likes, and we will try to get back to you always. So, if you have a question, or let yep. us know what you think. Thanks for watching. See ya.